Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we are checking out the Asus Mini PC PN50 Ryzen 5 and 7 models. We will be going over the tech specs of both and then running a few system and gaming benchmarks to see the difference in performance of them. If you missed the first part of our video in which we unbox and overview the PN50 you can find the link in the description. The AMD Ryzen 5 has the 4500U CPU which has 6 cores and 6 threads running up to 4GHz. It has the AMD Radeon graphics with 6 cores running up to 1500MHz. The Ryzen 7 has the 4700U CPU which has 8 cores and 8 threads running up to 4.1GHz. It also features the AMD Radeon graphics but with 7 cores and running up to 1600MHz. We have installed the same type 32GB DDR4-3200MHz RAM and 1TB NVMe SSD. With the extra cores and slightly faster clock speed on the AMD Ryzen 7, we will definitely see an increase in performance over the Ryzen 5. But by how much for these nut killers? We are using a few different benchmarks which will test artificial and real world scenarios to ensure we get a good performance overview. We start the benchmarks with Passmark, which performs an overall benchmark of each system including the processor, graphics, RAM and disk speeds. This will give us a general indication of the difference in performance between the two models. First, we have the scores for the Ryzen 5. It scores a respectable 4460 with good scores across all tests. The Ryzen 7 scores an impressive 4830 with higher scores across the test than the Ryzen 5. There's around a 7.9% increase in performance between the two. Looking closer at the scores, we can see the main differences are in the CPU and graphics tests and marginal differences in the RAM and disk speeds as they both use the same specification. Next, we use PCMark to perform benchmarks to see the general performance of day-to-day -day tasks including web browsing, media playing, video conferencing, working with large office documents and much more. This gives us a more real-life usage performance test than simply seeing how fast a processor, for example, runs. The Ryzen 5 scores 4644, which is around the expected range for this specification of Mini PC. The Ryzen 7 scores a higher 5132, again with higher scores across the individual tests. There's around a 9.9% difference between the two models. In real life tasks, this is especially important. It means everything from booting windows, opening software, loading and saving large documents will be fast on both models, but almost 10% faster on the Ryzen 7. We can now test the CPU and graphics performance with 3D Mark. This is not just a game in performance, but gives us an indication of how well it performs with graphics rendering, which is also used in media viewing, photo and video editing for example. The Ryzen 5 scores 1034, which is around the average for a Ryzen mini PC of this specification. The Ryzen 7 scores 1194. That's around 14.3% higher than the Ryzen 5. The gap in the scores is more noticeable here and we can see that the extra cores and clock speed in the Ryzen 7 give that extra boost in performance. A quick interlude to mention to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this video. Also don't forget to check out our other social media including Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for news, updates and some awesome giveaways that will be starting very soon. The AMD Mini PC is not just for work, but is also very capable at gaming. 
In the following benchmarks, we will be changing the settings to maximum to really stress test both models to see the difference. In normal circumstances, you would of course have the graphics on the system recommended settings, which is generally in the medium to high range for a good 60 frames per second average. For Forza Horizon 4, we have changed the settings to the default ultra settings with a target of 60 FPS. Forza 4 is a good game to benchmark as it takes advantage of multiple cores on both processor and graphics cards. The Ryzen 5 scores a respectable 18 frames per second with a low of 15 and high of 29. The Ryzen 7 scores a very respectable 24 frames per second with a low of 23 and high of 35. This gives us a frames per second difference of around 28%, which again is quite a gap. With the Ryzen 7 especially, you could drop a few settings from ultra to higher medium and enjoy some 60 FPS gaming quite easily. Next, we can use the Final Fantasy XIV benchmark software. This game is not released until later this year, so we can get a good look at how the Ryzen mini PCs will perform with future released games. For this test, we have changed the graphic settings to maximum and are running full screen instead of a borderless window. The Ryzen 5 scores a very reasonable 2191. The Ryzen 7 scores 2783, giving a performance difference of around 23.8%. It's around the expected percentage difference gained by the previous test. Especially with the Ryzen 7, you could tweak a few graphic settings to improve the performance and bump the scores up to meet the recommended minimum performance settings. For a gaming mini PC, this is very impressive. Time to see the scores on the doors. On screen we have a summary of the individual tests with their percentage difference. Pass mark gave us a 7.9% difference between the two models. PC mark sees a 9.9% increase. 3D mark sees a larger jump in performance with 14.3%. Forza Horizon 4 sees an even larger jump thanks to the extra cores and speed with a massive 28% increase. And Final Fantasy XIV kept up the trend with a 23.8% increase. This gives an average of around 16.7% performance increase with the Ryzen 7 over the Ryzen 5, which is a considerable amount. Both models are equally capable for use in day-to-day -day tasks which can include anything from web browsing to working with large office documents. With the Ryzen 7 you will however see an increase in performance with tasks that are more processor and graphics intensive such as large spreadsheets and databases or image and video editing. As a gaming mini PC it's where the biggest increases in performance are seen. The 25% extra speed gives a noticeable amount of extra frames per second. Whichever model of the Asus Mini PC you do decide on, you can be sure that you will have a high quality build with great performance and reliability. That wraps up this video, we hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.